everyone, it's Elizabeth. Welcome to Xanadu, my little world. Uh, tonight is kind of special for me right now. Stop looking at me. <laughs> Okay, cause um, I am go I am going to interview my mother, um, and my stepdad. Not he's not here right now, but, <laughs> but I'm gonna I'm gonna interview my mother and ask her just a few simple questions about um, a film that I um. <laughs> <laughs> recently showed her and my stepdad and kind of showed myself recently uh, a film a film that I've seen a few times and that I've talked about in a few past videos before and it's a really fun film and it's called Timer and if you do not know what Timer is about then I'll put my review of it in the description box below because <coughs> mom <laughs> I will not get into it too much but I should speak a little bit about it so you guys know what the heck I'm talking about. Timer is an, uh, a film about a woman. It's, it, you know, it's kind of like what if you could know who the love of your life is going to be. If you, know, you can get a timer on your wrist and you'll know the exact time that you're going to meet the love of your life. And a woman named Una goes through her whole life you know with a blank timer and has no and her life is just stressful and uh, she has she just loses herself and and is dumped indoctrinated by uh, the ways of the timer and needs to let loose and that's when she um, run runs into a dude named Mikey who changes her life and so I'm gonna ask um, my mom some questions about it okay we're ready mom yeah. Question number one. Did you like it? Yes, I did. <laughs> she did? Okay. Um, question number two. What did you like about it? Well, I liked uh, John Patrick Amadori. <laughs> Emma Bubba. Mostly. Emma Bubba, as Chelsea would say. I liked it because it was uh, thought provoking. And it, it um, brought up the question about if you knew that you were going to meet the perfect person for you, but you met somebody right now right. that seemed perfect, Right. what would you do? Right. And that could be translated over into real life, kind of. Yeah. Because uh, well, even though we don't know, right. we still might want to hold out. Settling for... Um, Do you want to settle for, or do you want to wait? Right. You know, for what you consider, what you think is the perfect person that might come along and might not. Right. And you know, it it ends up bringing out, I think, in the characters. It ends up bringing out their character because you find out who you really are and what you're really made of. Right. Like Una's sister uh, Steph adopted a rotten attitude yes a nasty stupid attitude right um, and slept around and mm -hmm. didn't get to know anybody mm -mm. because her thing said she wasn't gonna meet anybody till she's 43 she's like well screw that I'm having fun now I mean she was angry and I think she was she was and um, so she, you know you find out quick that she's not a very good who would want a person like that when she meets the right one what's she gonna tell him she's been doing right Dan though she liked her yeah but she never let anybody get close and it, it, it altered her life completely yeah and I think there's a lot of people that act like that mm -hmm. nobody comes along right so they just act like towards buttholes they right. act like selfish you know, whores. I am not a whore. <laughs> yeah. Whores! <laughs> Man or woman. <laughs> Man whore. <laughs> Man whores and and women whores. Yeah. Whores. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Today it's hoes. <laughs> Don't be a when hoe. When says a hoe, I think of the, you know, digging up the yard with a hoe. Or a hoe hoe. 
A ho ho, yeah. A ho ho. Did you know that ho hos when they first came out were called yo ho? <laughs> so I think that, and you know, it was what really impressed me a lot was at the very end. Oh. Should I oh. Not give it away? No, say whatever you want. I give spoilers. That's my thing. Mikey knew that he was dedicated to her and that she wasn't to him, at least not nearly to the same degree. Right. And he backed out because he knew that it wasn't going to be. But So he did the right thing even though it stunk. Yeah, he loved her. Yeah, but that shows real solid, good, you know, grade A first class character. But you broke my fucking heart and I'm really trying to be a man about it, okay? So cut me some fucking slack here. And she, but she, and she was kind of trying to force it. So, um, yeah. Well, yeah. they had a good relationship. If that guy hadn't come along, that was oh her. Oh my gosh, I know. Her, um, her actual one. Um, they would have just continued on, but she still didn't. Wasn't devoted to him. No. And when the guy came. Yeah. You know, he just. Mikey just saw that it. I know it was as so. An opportunity. It was so sad because he saw it because he was there at the party and the, he just leaves the party and it, it was like i remember when me and chelsea were watching that we were watching the screen and we we're like it goes down from here man and we we're like oh no my god it was so realistic I, he was so smart right you know cut the tie he knew and yeah. he didn't want to end up like with her for the next two years and then all of a sudden she runs off with some other guy Oh, I know. Because that's what would have happened. She was kind of trying to force it right then. She was gonna, she decided that she was, she learned her lesson because the whole kind of thing of the story is at the beginning though, she she sees that this dude has a timer and it's got, he's gonna meet the love of his life in four months and then she realizes that his timer's fake and then he goes through this whole thing of why he, why it's fake or whatever that he still really likes her though and now he's like you said yourself you're different with timerless guys so don't you think you and I got to know each other a little better she's like yeah but you were lying to me the whole time but they get over that you know they had to the story had to have a little tiff a little stick in the sideways a little friction a little friction like a little drama he had to have a secret i mean come on but the cold kind of thing is she she she's kind of like but she ends up liking him so much and she's kind of confused like well, one of these days my timer's gonna go off and i you know can't force him to get a timer to see and even and even if so kind of like should she should she just forget it all, get her timer removed, and choose Mikey, and choose a timerless life, and as he says, to not sweat her future, or or does she try to make him get a timer, and then if it, if her timer and if his timer says that they're not supposed to be together, then should she dump him like she does, like the the other other guy that she likes? So in the end, you know, she actually does decide to get her timer removed and choose Mikey until her timer starts going off. Yeah. Okay, question um, number three. What did you think of the cast and their performances? I thought they were, like, perfect. Yeah. Really. Everybody did a perfect job. I'm always blown away when they do. Yeah. I really am. Everyone, everyone was cool and everyone... It was good to see Owen. Oh, it's all, it, I know, it's still so weird to see her. Like, I have seen her in normal things, but every time I see her, I think of Anya. And I'm like, Anya, what are you up to? Yeah, and she looked beautiful. Well, yeah, she was still beautiful, so you still had to get, still had to, you still had to give her a compliment. You know, it was so funny, the look on her face. Because he tells her that weird joke, and her face is exactly like how any girl's face would look. It's like, what? What'd you say to me? Yeah. At first, when I heard it, because I was watching it, and I was kind of like, I was trying to absorb it all. Yeah. And while, you know, he just starts randomly saying this, and I'm kind of, I wasn't really paying attention. And all of a sudden, he's like, he just says, you know, like, no, because you're effing ugly. And and then, and I, I snapped out of it, and I was like, wait a minute, what did he say? Yeah. <laughs> okay, now I'm listening. Oh, I was like, wait a minute, now I'm listening to you. <laughs> and she's like, what? I would have been like, are you calling me ugly or something? Yeah. And then he's like, oh, like, I thought that would have gone on better. It's like, really? It's like, I thought you would have got the irony. <laughs> yeah. 
It's like, I guess I would have missed it. It's like, well, you know, because you're so pretty and all. She's like, good one, you know, kind of like, yeah, good line or whatever. It's like, oh, I'm complete, like, I'm 100% sincere. <laughs> Who is your favorite character? That's really hard, I know. My favorite actor was John Patrick Henry. <laughs> Uh, my favorite character in the whole movie was. Um, I don't know. Do you think you're related to her or something? Like, why do? Why is she your favorite? Um, because I think she was the most real. Well, Mikey was real, but Mikey was the secondary character. <laughs> it wasn't really about him. Yeah, it, it was, was about, about Una. Okay, one last question, number six. And what did you think of the ending? I thought the ending was perfect. I liked it. I liked how um, she didn't try to force a relationship with her soulmate that she just met, and he didn't either, which figures because they're soulmates. But it was kind of heart-wrenching to watch Mikey back out to the relationship for both of them. I mean, it's like doing the right thing that's extremely hard. I know, I did not, I knew, I knew it was gonna, I know, I knew that was gonna happen, and it's like, I just like, when, when, before she leaves, you know, she, you know, and she's, he looks at her, you know, bandage, and he's like. Is there a scar? There will be. He scarred me. Trying to go my And it's like, uh, and and it's like terrible because I know at that moment though it was actually better for him, but the, in this scene it's just so sad because she leaves and she actually has something going for her and he's just like left like he's all alone right there, and that's just. Uh. The movie you find that you you know which way would you go. Yeah. Because you, it just makes you think that. Mm -hmm. Are you going to go the quick, easy way? I want what I want when I want it. Yeah. You know, uh, you know this tastes good. I don't want to give it up. I like my ice cream, and I'm going to eat all I want. Well, I got home. <laughs> or, yeah, or am I going to put it away, you know, and just eat it a little at a time at the same do you, do you have anything you want to ask me? Okay. What do you think was the most important thing of that movie? The most important uh, part? What the do most I... important thing Or what was it about? Or like, what was the main thing that you walked away from? I, did, I couldn't really get a full opinion of a real full opinion about it until like the second time I watched it, which was like right after I bought it. I didn't know what I thought when I first saw it. I just knew I liked it and I wanted to buy it, so I did. And that second time I watched it with you, and um, watching it with you was really fun. Yeah, it was. I thought it was um, really thought provoking, like you said, like which way would you go, and would you want to get a timer? You know, kind of like it made me think you know what would I do because I remember like the thought of it I I remember thinking I would instantly get one but then but then as I'd watched the movie I, I yeah and I, then as I watched the movie I realized that um, I probably wouldn't want to get one and I thought um, it gave a good kind of weird mixture between people like human interaction where she had a real love of her life waiting for her you know he was finally gonna come and that's what she's been waiting for since she was like 14 and the thing with Mikey is you know because they build them up and they make them they make them like really awesome and stuff like that there's all these obstacles and she's kind of she was kind of the one that <laughs> made it so difficult because you know, there's so many times when she got so confused or anxious because of her own insecurities and because she was still trying to find herself. So she just knew that things weren't perfect still. She put her entire life yeah. at, uh, guided by that thing. Uh, timer. Mm -hmm. Like it was her God. Yeah, so I thought, in the, I thought in the end though that even though Mikey wasn't her one, um, in the end, 
That doesn't mean that they still couldn't. Mikey was just a part of her journey, but he loved, but he helped her grow and prepared her for the real thing. Mm -hmm. And she, um, that did, that it wasn't that she was using it. Right, because. It was just, you know, part of her journey. Yeah. In life. Yeah, and it doesn't mean that he couldn't be, like, one of her loves. So I think it was about that and, and how every single little thing we go through, every even even every heartbreak and stuff like that, builds us to who we are and kind of taking using the timer and taking the easy way out kind of makes you like an idiot. Because I kind of was sitting there wondering what was the point of that. <laughs> what was the point of that? Besides John Patrick and the <laughs> It's like, what was the point of it then? <laughs> You know. Oh my gosh! I there know. There was him, and then there was the rest of it. I know. I know. My 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 mother. Oh my gosh, Chelsea! You guys, we could watch that movie together when you're here, and I'm gonna watch you guys fangirl like crazy because I like. When I sh when Chelsea saw that for the first time, the first she goes, I'm watching Dimer, and the first thing she says <laughs> is like, I'm like, she's probably at the Mikey part, <laughs> and she the first thing she texts me, she goes, she goes like, John Patrick Amador is so cute, and I'm like, I'm guessing she's at the Mikey part, <laughs> and then I show my mother this movie, and this is after the whole butterfly effect thing where we're watching that movie and this was like years after I had not seen it in years and I hadn't seen it in years either yeah Probably I know longer than you. yeah or did we watch it together we watched we didn't see it? We, it was the second time we watched it twice long story but it was like right at the movie theater scene <laughs> just as Tommy is beating the hell out of that random um, who was messing with him, right? Camera's on Tommy, and he's got this crazy look on his face, and I hear this voice behind me that goes, I think he's really cute. <laughs> and I thought to myself, what? Mom? I thought to myself, okay, there aren't many dudes in this scene right now, and the camera's on Tommy, and I'm thinking, is my mom starting to, like, have a thing for badass midget psychos <laughs> they were going back and forth between um evan and tommy and like you could sense my my vibes and you, and it was like just as when they were like tommy's doing the evil smiley face as they were driving it away and you were like no not him <laughs> you all just to make that clear and yeah, i'm like during the fight it really occurred to me <laughs> <laughs> so yeah right so He's really cute. We're watching Timer now, and it's exactly like time work. The second we're watching the movie, and like two seconds, the second he comes on the screen, and mom goes, oh, she goes, is that the guy? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, because she's like probably like never seen him grown up before, and I'm like, yep, that's the guy. <laughs> and then she's watching, and then we're watching the scene, and then we're giggling and stuff like that. And then afterwards, when she goes to pick him up, and it's that hilarious scene, I love that she's all like, you know, like, what time do you get off? It's like, what? It's like, you want me to repeat it? She's like, yes, into the loudspeaker if you don't mind. You know, it's all like, okay, like, believe me when I tell you, this is your one chance, so make it count. It's like, now, now, I get off now. And leaves with her. So we're watching it. And it's like during that scene, and all of a sudden, my mom goes, He's really cute. I like him. Oh my gosh. And then you're all like, but it doesn't matter or something like, you're you're going on or something like, like you're like, that's past. Like, you're up too old. It's past my time. He would, like, never. Ne he would never go with someone like me. And I'm like, you and Chelsea, what the heck? <laughs> Chelsea, my girl. Yeah, so Chelsea, when you're here, like we could like watch those movies and I could just film you guys and you just like sharing popcorn and going like, oh my gosh, it's the guy. Have you done a review on the butterfly effect? No. That would be the big one. <laughs> <laughs> You can talk about John Patrick and the Dorothy. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> and Tommy Lee Jones. Yeah. 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 Ye
how he's been haunting you. I have talked about that. Oh yeah, yeah, but not in. Oh. I did. I did a fifty-minute talk about it. Oh, you still haven't yeah, seen it. I have not reviewed the butterfly effect. That's where it started. That's where it started. It's so weird. You know, I'm, this is probably a really long video, but I just want to say, like, okay, I have this dream, and for two days, I'm like, whatever. But on the second day, I'm kind of like, okay, I can't get this out of my head, so I'm finally going to check it out. And then I'm like, okay, so I had a psychic dream. Okay, I get it. I got it. But this is different. This is information dream about nothing. I don't care. Why did Chelsea get this dream? Like, I'm the one telling her all these fun things. You don't think he's really cute? Well, it's not that. I get, well, I guess so a little bit, but... A little bit? <laughs> I don't know, I never thought about it. Really? No. He's just another dude? Well, no. Another guy? No, I mean, he, no. <laughs> I don't know, he's definitely, di he's definitely different. I there's mean, nothing wrong. There's no fantasy going on <laughs> At all. I just think he's really cute. It's fun. It is. Besides, he shows up everywhere. Everywhere. It's like, it's all like, it's all like, well, it shows up everywhere, so thank God. <laughs> thank God it's not. He showed up in this. He showed up in that, that. And then in this, and that, and this, and that, and this, and that. And a gory. And a gory, and a baba, and a, a throckenstube. And a doroski. <laughs> and a door. <laughs> Emma, Emma Dorky. Emma, I was hung up on Emma Gorish. Emma, Emma Gorish. Well, okay, whatever. We're off topic. Sorry. Um, but 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 yeah, I I know because Chelsea, she was saying the exact same thing. Like we were watching Stick It, and we're enjoying the movie Stick It. It's like our favorite word now. Uh, up sideways. My alley. Up my alley sideways. No, not up my alley. <laughs> Up your alley. <laughs> Sideways. <laughs> and now it's ad libbed. <laughs> really? Yeah. Yeah, I read that because when I was watching um the commentary. That was pretty good. When I was watching the commentary for Addicted to Her Love, um, he talked about how he did he had to do stick it right after and it was hard for him because he got really depressed after Addicted to Her Love. He went through a lot of crap in that movie. I'm sorry. I'm so <laughs> Which makes sense because you did a really fantastic job. Like, it really blew me away. I was like freaking out because it was like really real. You're fucking kidding me. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? Fuck! Bad day. Ah! Ah! Oh, but anyway, I was like, well, that makes sense. You put yourself through hell because he's like, he had to like race off the road to do stick it, and he's like, I had to be like a funny, happy idiot or something. Like I had to be an idiot, and he's like, and I and I, I ad libbed all of this stuff or whatever. It was encouraged to ad lib jokes, and I'm like. You made up sideways? That was pretty good. <laughs> and the, and the, and the, it's already up there thing, too. What? Um, oh yeah, because it's all like, then your head would be stuck to your butt. It's oh, like, right. why would my head be stuck to my butt? Because it's already up there! <laughs> we're watching that movie, and we're talking about our lives, and then we're, we're like, watch little bits and pieces, and all of a sudden, she just comes out like, I'm sorry, Chelsea, but I'm going to talk about this. Not a lot of people watch my videos, so whatever. You know, she goes, she goes, hey, he's really cute. She's all like, she's like, I can't help it. I think he's cute. <laughs> and I'm just silent, like, because when I was giving her aunt questions about Timer, she said how he was cute twice. <laughs> like, she repeated herself. She was like, one, he was really cute. And then she was all like, and then she's like, something like him being really attractive. And I was like, you said that already. <laughs> I think he's really cute too, and I don't think that of many. Yeah. I don't know. I'm very, very picky. Kind of like, I don't really care. It takes a lot to get me to 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 like them. 
it gets me, it has to take a lot in order for me going, hey, you're not a total idiot. It's like, unless you're, unless you're ever for long, of course. <laughs> because for me and Chelsea, we're like, we're like naming like all of these dudes and we're all kind of like, he's not ever for long, but. <laughs> <laughs> That's another one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Plus, it's a lot more fun to be single because you can just do whatever you want. That's true. I can stay home. I can stay home in my pajamas and watch The Little Mermaid without anyone griping at me. Yeah. That's right. It's like, not Little Mermaid again. And I'd be like, shut up. <laughs> this is my movie. If you love me, you will watch this with me. Pull your pistol out and point it at him. What did I tell you? What did I tell you about Ariel? Yeah, what did I tell you about bugging me about this movie? This is Ariel. You do not talk while Ariel is on. Keep your mouth shut or I'll watch Phantom of the Opera next. <laughs> yeah. It's like, I know how you hate opera. I will put that on next. <laughs> so it's kind of like, why deal with the crap when I, when, you know, I have friends, I have friends that I love and support me, that give me what I need anyway, so. Don't need any of that crap. I don't need a timer. Um, yeah, I have my mama too. So, yeah. But, uh. So again, thank you for interviewing me. I'm Right. Hi, Chelsea. Mom says hi. Uh, she's got a lot of crushes, and what's hilarious is about like the butterfly effect. All she had, she has had crushes on all three <laughs> of the Evans. I was surprised. I was surprised I didn't, because no, because knowing me, I probably would have liked um, the the middle. I probably would have liked the middle Evan, because because he had more of the sort of bad boyish type, you know, listen to rock and roll, smoking cigarettes and stuff like that. You know, the, the kind of John Connor type. <laughs> like, who else do, do I need to like other than Edward Froma? Like, what does it matter? Because you said this to me, that you were saying, yeah, the guy's cool, but he's no Edward Froma. <laughs> you said that, not, e not even the goat man can be a referral. Um, I guess on a scale of one to ten on coolness, the coolness factor with the goat man, I'm not gonna say like I'm not gonna say the word cute or anything, and I don't like those words. I'm gonna yeah. say, I'm gonna say the word cool. The coolness factor, and I don't know what is average or what is low or what is high because I'm not really good at scales. But I guess on the coolness factor, it'd have to be like six and a half, maybe seven. What, the movie or the, or the guy? The guy. On a coolness factor, I guess I would have to say maybe six and a half or seven, if that's high or low. Anyway, my, my camera's gonna die in like two seconds, so I wanna say thank you so much for watching. This video is probably gonna be 50 minutes as well. But at least I got my mother in a video, and in the next one I will in, um, make a part two, and that one will be a lot shorter because my stepdad does not like to talk on the camera. I'm gonna bug him big time on on timer, and I'll probably even embarrass him and be like, "Hey, British, don't hey, don't you think Emma Bubba is cute?" <laughs> <laughs> Emma Bubba. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you think Emma Bubba is cute? Anyway, namaste. Remember, you are enough. You are so enough. It's unbelievable how enough you are. And watch out if you're eating waffles. Um, my name is John Patrick Amadori.